Once, there was a little stick figure. Standing on a small hill. His eyes were fixed on a giant mountain far away. That mountain was his dream. With a smile on his face, he began the climb. Each step was full of energy. Full of hope. But suddenly. He slipped. He fell hard. And everything went silent. He sat there, in the dust. Tired. Defeated. The mountain looked taller than ever before. And for a moment, he wanted to give up. Then, something small appeared beside him. A spark of light. A voice inside whispered, get up. Try again. He stood up. This time, slower, but stronger. Step by step, he climbed again. The storm faded, the light returned. And finally. He reached the top. The sun rose behind him. And he raised his hands to the sky. Because in the end. It's not about how many times you fall. It's about how many times you rise. You fall. You rise. You grow. Hello, dear friends, and welcome to a different and new tutorial from the Desire channel. Let's dive in and create an interesting story stick figure animation together. I'll start with Google and search for ChatGPT. The first site that pops up is the ChatGPT website. Let's go ahead and open it. This is the homepage of ChatGPT. After logging in, we'll write our request here like this, give me the English version of the stick figure story with prompts. Subject, fall and rise. I hit generate and wait for it to create my story. I also asked it to write the accompanying prompts, and it did a great job, providing the story, image prompts, and even video prompts. Once we review and confirm everything looks good, we head back to Google and type in, Labs Google FX. The first site is Google Labs. We'll enter it. Here, we have two important tools, ImageFX and Whisk. For this tutorial, I'll be using Whisk. I'll click on it and open it up. After entering the tool, I go back to ChatGPT, copy the prompt for my first sequence, and paste it here. From this section, you can choose the size whether it's for social media like TikTok and Instagram, or a wide format for YouTube. I'm going to choose the 16 to 9 aspect ratio. When you click on Add Image, you'll see three options on the left, Subject, Sequence, and Style. You can change these based on your story and idea. I want my style to be stick figure, so I've downloaded a pre-made stick figure image from the internet and will upload it here. This will allow my new style to be inspired by it. In this section, you can see it uses Nano Banana, which is a powerful image editing tool. Now, I'll click Generate without making any other changes and wait for the image to be created. Our images are ready. Both are very nice. I'll download this one and save it to my system. I'll also give them numbers so I remember to use them in the correct order later. Now, I go back to ChatGPT and get the prompt for my second sequence to use here. I paste it in this section and hit Generate. It created the image again, which looks good, and I'll download this one too. If you're not satisfied with an image, you can click Generate again to create a different one until you get the idea you have in mind. I'll move on to the next image and copy the third prompt here. Whenever you're not happy with an image, you can click on it and regenerate your prompt or make changes to it. I'll create all my images in order and save them to the system. I'll speed up the video here while I create and prepare all my images one by one. I originally wanted to use a different tool to convert them to video, but I saw that you can animate it right here in Whisk. Great! Let's use this tool instead and see how it works. I click on Animate for our first image, and it opens up here. I go back to ChatGPT and copy the video-specific prompt for my first sequence. I bring it here and click the Generate option. Take a look at the top right corner, we can create 5 videos per day. Let's see how it created the first video. It's very nice. It used VO3 to create the video and even added music to it. I'll go to the next prompt, 
and I want to use it to create my next video. I select my image and click Animate. I paste the prompt here and click the Generate option. Let's see how it was made. Excellent. I'll download this one too and move on to our next video. I want to remind you that your idea is what matters, and the better your idea and the nicer images you use, the more successful you'll be. I'm just showing you the method of creation here. Your idea and the use of relevant images are what's important. Pay attention to the prompts, you can change them to suit your needs. You can also change or use another image if you don't like it or if its style doesn't match the previous images. I'm not aiming to create a perfect, ideal thing here, I'm just teaching you how to do it. You learn this, and once you learn, you can create anything you want. This sequence is finished as well. If you look, my credit is finished. You can either use other video making tools IVE introduced many of them on my page or you can log in with a different Gmail account. I'll log in here with another one of my Gmail accounts. I'll do the same steps again, I'll give it my style, create my image, convert them to an animation, and wait for the video to be generated. I'll download them one by one until the last video which was 8 sequences for me. Now. I want to create a narration for it. I'll use the top media tool. You can use any tool you like, such as Eleven Labs or any other. I search for top media on Google and will enter the first site we see. I've previously made a tutorial introducing this site in this video, you can watch and check that one out as well. After we enter the site, we'll log in. We have many tools and features here, and I want to use its text-to-speech tool, so I'll click on it, and we'll enter this page. After entering this page, we need a narration text. I go back to ChatGPT and write this prompt for it, give me narration for story. I hit generate and wait for it to be written. You can copy and paste them one by one or all at once. I'll copy everything here and take it to the top media website. I'll delete the parts where it mentions the sequence number, tidy it up, and then click the Generate option. We can choose our narrator. As AI pioneers, we maintain a balanced view. Don't worry, everything will be fine. As AI pioneers, we may... And I'll select this one. After selecting, I click the Generate option. Once, there was a little stick figure. Standing on a small hill. His eyes were fixed on a giant mountain far away. That mountain was his dream. With a smile on his face, he began the climb. Each step... After a narration text is generated, we'll download it from here. You can use any editing tool like CapCut, Premiere, or Edimaker, which I recently introduced, to sync the audio and video. I hope you've followed along with me so far, and that this video has been helpful to you. Take care of yourselves. I love you all. Goodbye until the next video.